Hi, usually at this time of the year I go down to my hometown, Maiore on the Amalfi Coast and truly chill out, unshaved, you could tell, I haven't shaved for a few days and so I can't get there because I'm in quarantine in my house so I decided to bring a bit of Amalfi to you and I'm going to make a drink called the Amalfi Dream, my dream, alright. This drink I created a few years back. I was on the Amalfi Coast in a, on a villa, uh, a friend of mine, who invited us for barbecue. So while we were having barbecue and I had this magical view, just the sea, the sun, the landscape, I was in really in a magical moment. And uh, they asked me, Salvador, why don't you make, your, make a drink with a barbecue? And I said, no, 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 really. And then my wife stepped in, obviously wife, you know, and she said, why, why don't you make a drink? Come on, please then. So I said, okay, I'll give it up. I'll make a drink for you. Let me see what you have. So I go into his kitchen and I open the fridge and he had a bottle of vodka. There you go. I had a bottle of limoncello because, hey, on the Amalfi Coast, if you go in somebody's house and they will offer you something, the first thing will come in their hand it is a bottle of limoncello. Obviously, it won't be just any limoncello with me. It will be my own limoncello, my own liqueur, Salvatore's liqueur, you can tell, done with the Amalfi lemon and infused with cognac. Superb. If you can get one, buy it. You won't be disappointed. So I had the limoncello, I had the vodka. Now what else I was looking for? For something else, some inspiration. There was nothing else. But... Outside, in his garden, look at this magical view. He had lemon hanging from the tree and he had some beautiful fresh mint. So I decided to put all these ingredients together and the Amalfi Dream cocktail came to life. But I had a problem. How am I going to make the drink without a shaker? So I was looking, I was looking, you couldn't find a shaker. So I used an improvise and I used a jug. So this is the way I'm going to make it, with a jar, just like those years back. And I'm going to dream with you. So I'm going to put ice in the shaker, oil in the jar, I should say, some fresh mint. Look at this beautiful mint. Go inside, everything goes inside. About six to seven, eight little mint. You want to squeeze some fresh lemon juice inside. About, oh God, I can smell it. They come all the way from the Amalfi Coast. I'm trying to hold the tips, which I do pretty well. There you go. I'm going to put a little bit more, about 20 milliliter of freshly squeezed lime, lemon juice. There you go. Now, 50 milliliter of uh, vodka. Once again, I use the measure, but today, just like on those days, I went straight in. And then about 30 milliliter of my Salvatore liquore di limone or limoncello, good quality limoncello. 30 milliliter, there you go. Are you ready? Because I am ready. I am on the Amalfi Coast with you guys. Don't worry about it, something comes out. I'm going to shake a bit hard just to break the mint. There we go. Now I broke the mint. And I'm going to go straight in the glass. Because I want those pips on mint so when i'm drinking it i pick up this little citrus of the fresh lemon juice and the little fresh note of the fresh mint salute and be safe yes i am in amalfi on the amalfi coast on my boat touring around